If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. And if you need any code cards, make sure you check out Potown Store for automatic email delivery and use code TABLEMONTH for 5% off all your purchases. If you're from Europe, MealyBotsGaming.com is a great option to get your cards from. They have all sorts of sealed products, merchandise, and all the sets available from Pokemon Sun and Moon upwards, including the latest Hidden Fate set. Don't forget to use Tailmon code when checking out to get a further 5% off from your final purchase. Right, when you see me play Malamar against Pedron, I get that god hand of turn to everything. That's pretty nice, but then you can also get this, yeah. So it's both, both sides of the spectrum, both sides of the spectrum. <clears throat> Play one super scoop up to forfeit honorably. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. I would have to have it at the right time to be able to do that. So. Probably not great. Okay. So I would like to go first. Thank you very much. Se atasco, así es. Se atasco el deck. Now this is looking much nicer, right? Much, much nicer. Because we effectively have a Lily for six plus a Stellar Wish after the fact. So that's really nice. It is going to be a Stellar Wish for. For six, very nice. So here's what I'm gonna, oh, we're up against Malamar as well. So even more important. I feel like more important than getting the, oof, spell tag is more important. More important than getting the, the Giratina and the discard for one damage counter, it's having this to discard an energy. The, after the Lily, hopefully. Yeah, that's way, 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 way more important than um, than discarding the Giratina. Because now I basically have guaranteed attack next turn, which I wouldn't otherwise. And I'm gonna Stella Wish, and I'm actually gonna grab the Acrobike. Can't believe I'm only gonna set up one Inkay though, that's really sad. Yep, it's just gonna be one Inkay, but now I have a discardable card here. And I still get the damage counter if I really want it, but I don't think I want it that badly. The Espion Deoxys is gonna be super clutch. Getting the first prize is also gonna be pretty important. Doing this. And then I don't think I'll be reset stamped, right? I'll just save the Giratina so I can place two damage counters instead of just one. I'll just go ahead and pass. Hello, Steven, how are you doing? Okay, so decent-ish start. Double Inke would have been the dream, but pretty much we're guaranteed to attack next turn, so we're fine with that. We are fine with that. There's the Psychic. Looking good. Looking good so far. The second Dratch is just another target, a lower HP target that we can finish off with Espion Deoxys later on in the match. Is that the Recycle Energy? No, it's a Beast Energy. Oh, so my opponent has Ultronic Prozma. That's an issue. We have to play around the Ultronic Prozma. We have to be very aware of the Ultronic Prozma threat. Psychic already in the discard pile. Three supporters though in the discard pile. Three supporters in the discard pile. Okay. 
School is starting tomorrow, Sebastian. <laughs> That's never fun. Okay. So, definitely going to distortion door. These people. Definitely gonna spell tag this person as well. Definitely gonna psychic recharge. But there might be merit to the Mimikyu, especially if I end up um, not est not establishing an Inkay this turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and Lily first. Okay, so I will have an Inkay, that's nice. I'll Acrobite next. I'll keep the Malamar. And then that's a card I'll put back for the Inkay. The Beast Energy being played doesn't really matter. Getting the first KO is pretty nice. I also get to Stellar Wish now. Spell tag is pretty good. Like back to back to back spell tags, that's the dream, right? So now, what's the card I get rid of? I don't think it's the switch. I actually think it's gonna be the Mimikyu. Uh, all the other cards in my hand are just way too good to pass up on. And then I'll retreat. And I will KO and, of course, put the damage on myself. So now my opponent needs Malamar and a switching card, which shouldn't be difficult, right? He already has the energy guaranteed off of this or even double Malamar, potentially. We need to really plan our damage, though. We need to really plan our damage well so that it's spread to not activate Ultra Charisma. But so that it's enough to be able to KO to get a lot to finish the game with SP and Deoxys. <laughs> yeah, Sebastian, I know, I'm sorry. I wish I could stream at a different time. But you can catch the streams on 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 YouTube though. All the content on YouTube is from Twitch, so. You'll be fine. Okay, so my opponent gets immediate response. That's pretty scary. That is actually pretty scary. So, do I have to do any important planning with... Oh, wow, yes, custom catchers. Jeez. And he already has them on turn two, plus the attack. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's definitely not good news, either. <laughs> I know it's more fun to watch live, though. It's definitely more fun to watch live. Alright. So, I do like establishing another Inke over the, um, the Malamar. We do have one Inke prize, so that's really bad. And we're just gonna go ahead and send you here. Losing the spell tag, not ideal. Not the end of the world either. I'll go ahead and get rid of the Drachi for a Psychic. Our Recycle Energy is not priced this time. And Espion Deoxys is there. So I just need to make sure that I can set up the game to win with the Espion Deoxys at some point. So I'll Stellar Wish, grab the Reset Stamp, that's also potentially useful. And then I'll go ahead and attach. And then I'll retreat. My opponent is angry. I don't know why he's angry. And then he's sending us a heart. <laughs> so I guess we'll take it. Okay. The cool thing about this is that it should be him that activates. Like, since we got the first prize, we go down to four. He goes down to four. And then we go down to three, and then he goes down to three. So in that turn where he goes down to three, that's the turn we need to win. That's the turn we need to Espion Deoxys to KO these guys. Or we stay at four, and he goes down to three, and then he goes down to two, and we take those two turns to power up the Espion Deoxys.
there's another spell tag. I could also try to play around the spell tag. But I don't think it's that impactful. Atlanta Jeff, thank you so much. Seven months in a row. That's a lot of months. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so, so much for the support. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. I mean, is 20 damage counter is going to be enough for four prizes? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put four on here. Yeah, I think that's correct. Because then off of this other spell tag, I can put this at six and then I can choose when to take a prize potentially. We'll see. This is going to be weird for sure. How much HP is there right now? There's... Like after, if he goes, if he has to go through the spell tag. This is complicated. After he goes through the spell tag. After he goes through the spell tag. It's gonna be 10 damage counters. I don't think I have enough damage output for 10 damage counters though. And I can't use Espion Deoxys to get this guy because then this guy takes down Espion Deoxys. Okay, so I'm gonna Distortion Door. I might have to choose not to attack. Like, not to take a prize. And just place the damage counters, potentially. No, I feel like I just power up now. Can I though? Can I actually power up now? 20 damage counters, there's 1, 2, 10, 17, I'm still missing. Still missing and don't attack. One more place for Jirachi. What does that have to do with anything? <sighs> yeah, I feel like I don't attack. Yeah, I think not attacking is gonna be correct. Sorry, not this guy, but this guy. But then the issue is he has double, he has custom catchers. That's the biggest issue. That is the biggest issue here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and attach. This is revealing the plan though. Do I spell tag? I mean, not spell tag, reset stamp. Yeah, this is, this is an awkward situation for sure. So I have enough energy. I guess I reset stamp him. I guess I do reset stamp him. I should have done it before. I should have done it before. Because I have the switch. The switch is the key card here. Because if he chooses not to bench the Ultra and Krozma, then I might be okay. If he chooses to bench it... And I can't take an extra turn to power up this Giratina. So this is creating a kind of like a checkmate scenario. I know if he plays custom catcher, I lose pest man. 
I know. Okay, so he decides to play that guy down. Power plant doesn't really matter. He's not going to blindly attack, is he? Maybe it doesn't matter? If he gets a KO... Yeah, I think he wins. I'm pretty sure he wins. I'm pretty sure... There was no way for me to play around this. Because now... Well, I mean... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, mister, I'll just draw everything every turn, including turn to custom catcher, and then... What? What the heck? There was no way for me to do it, though. Maybe doing it that way was wrong, though. Maybe what I should have done is... Like, if I just go in with a Giratina... I get more damage counters, and then after that Giratina do goes down, I go... I could have gone Reset Stamp plus GXKO the active Giratina and the Jirachi. And then that leaves him with two Malamars and a three card hand, and maybe that stops the... and me down to one prize card, and maybe that stops the... The Sky Scorching Light. That seems like it would have been a better way to do it. I think. I think that would have been a better way to do it. That was insane though, his turn. Like he, from Reset Stamp to 4, he was a, he naturally drew the Ultra Necrozma plus the metal. And then he Cynthia into double custom <laughs> But I definitely think I approached that wrong, though. I definitely think I approached that wrong. I definitely think I approached that wrong. I approach... I approach that wrong. Surprised to see me playing Mali at Lenta Jeff? I know. I know. It's just I'm playing it because we're doing the 10 wins challenge. But this is definitely the worst start we've had with a 10 wins challenge. And now we're up against the mirror match. Going second. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, I mean, his start wasn't great. His start wasn't great, and we have Mew. So, it's actually not terrible. Because Mew just starts spreading damage counters. I don't want to give my opponent Brilliant Forest, though. But it might be the best chance for me to get a Re Giratina response if he gets a KO here. Do I give him? No, I don't give him. I'm just gonna side power the bench person. <sighs> I am playing Recycle Energy in the list indeed. Paolo is in cahoots with the trainer team. <laughs> you can use Giovanni's XL to discard twice, Giratina? Yeah, you can. But I don't play Giovanni's XL in my deck. Uh, was my opponent really holding the switch? Thank you so much for a follow, Scooter for MU. Was he holding two energies, that and a switch, or a or an escape board? No, not quite. He's gonna hypnosis. I did not take the baby necrozma. No. Because you only have one Recycle Energy, so your chance of finding it at the right time are not very high. Okay, I feel like now I don't... well... No, I think I still don't give him Viridian Forest. This is definitely awkward though. Because I need Psychics in the discard pile as well. And I'm not gonna get the first KO, but I will get... Yeah, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. And let's go for it. I feel like Lily's a little bit stronger. 
Okay, I mean, this kind of helps. I mean, Psy power... <clears throat> On to this guy. Why am I playing Recycle Energy? Because all your attacks cost at least one colorless. So by having the, the Recycle Energy, you keep getting that back eventually when you find it. And you can use it for retreat, you can use it to pay an attack cost. And if you only have two Malamars in play, you get back the Recycle and you don't have to worry about having another energy available to attack with Giratina once again. <laughs> Sebastian, yeah, that's true. That's pretty funny. Okay, so at least we trade, right? But we now we need double Malamar and a Giratina and an energy to get a return KO. So it's not looking particularly great. At least I get a knockout though. Goodbye Malamar, and then one more damage counter here. We get the recycle back, that's very nice. Yeah, only one. Okay, that's good. That is a good card to get to help with our situation here. That is a really good card to get for our situation. Okay, so I'm going to put back the Inke for a Mali. Put back the Inke for the Mali, evolve into Mali, and then. I mean, I kind of fancy using Stella Wish, but I kind of not. I'm gonna go ahead and Distortion Door. And then I'm gonna go ahead and discard the Psychic. And then fail it, because I'm gonna use Cynthia anyways. So I'll do this, and then I will... No, I'll bench the Jirachi, and then I'll Cynthia. Come on, Malamar, there we go. So we do get return KO, that's fantastic. That is fantastic. Oof, this one's tough. I'm gonna value this more. I'm not happy about discarding that in K though, for sure. I am not happy about discarding that in K. Good thing we knew that the other in K was not priced, right? <laughs> right? Okay, and then with this skateboard and the energy attachment, the previous turn we anticipated this situation from happening and therefore we were ready, so that's good. That is good. And see the recycle energy, I mean, it's not particularly useful this turn, but it's an extra energy we can use. And then Shadow Impact, and now my opponent is the one that should have trouble responding to this KO. With only two NK and two cards in hand. And we get a psychic. That's cool. So can we win this Malmar mirror after we were outskilled by my opponent's draws last game? I definitely approached the last game wrong though. Okay. There's one Malmar and there's the win. Yeah, my opponent didn't have a great hand to start off with. He all he did was treasure, so that was not great for him. Baby Mega Manectric. <laughs> I mean you can add baby to every card if you want to. Right? You can add baby to every card if you want to. We're going to play the last game of today's stream. I'm going to play the last game of today's stream. I hope you guys are enjoying the 10 wins challenge. I know it's the same deck over and over, but I feel like this gives us a better chance at seeing the deck perform when it draws really well, when it draws really bad, yeah, when it draws average, different matchups as well, like this... Um, Green Shreshi. This is not Tina Chump, no. This is just pure Psychic Malamar. This is just pure, pure Psychic Malamar. Ugly hand to start off with. Ugly hand to start off with. But, oh well, yeah. Take the good and we take the bad. Baby Mega Gengar, <laughs> Baby Mega Rayquaza. <laughs> they never made... 
non GX mega Pokemon, right? Um, Irux. I'm not sure who's online. We'll probably raid Azul after we're done. We'll probably go over to Azul, unless you have a recommendation. Unless you have a recommendation. It sucks that Azul and I basically stream at the same time now. But what are you gonna do? Would you play Recycle in Tinechum? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. This deck can play Recycle because it only uses Psychic type attackers that have colorless energy costs. You don't want to be in a situation where you need a Fighting and you have the Recycle. Or you need a Psychic and you have the Recycle. This deck can spare it, but the other decks, they definitely can't. Okay, that's a beautiful Acrobike. That is a beautiful, beautiful Acrobike. That's a decent one. Right, that's a decent one as well. So we're gonna bench because we get to do all of this. And then we'll do this, and then we'll do this, and then we shall find an Inke. Ditto keeps getting prized. And Lily for eight. High five for the Lily for eight. I don't know who Flex Daddy Righteous is, Irux. Okay. Not the best follow up, definitely. My opponent's start was also kind of underwhelming. It seems like my Giratina will almost certainly end up surviving the turn, once my opponent is already holding on to double custom catcher. And then. Kind of like holding the Radiant Forest, because it's not going to help me really. Baby Tail. <laughs> Baby Volcanion, this is Baby Volcanion indeed. We get hit for 110, understandably so. Now, if we find a switch. Uh, yeah, if we find a switch, we might be able to get the return KO, but we only played two of those. We should still try though, right? I don't think benching the Muse are good. It's gonna be useful ever. Let's just get rid of it, and we'll fail that because we will be attached. And then we need Malmar plus a switch. Malmar plus a switch, which we do get. We get double Malmar plus a switch, and we already have the. Beautiful Mimikyu, which is insane in this match. That was a beautiful Cynthia. That was, in fact, a beautiful Cynthia. Um, I kind of like grabbing this to discard it for an Inke. Is that wrong? Yeah, that might not be wrong. I'll grab it, but I'm not going to set up the Inke just yet. That was insane. That was definitely insane. Oops, I was about to... <laughs> I was about to retreat before using Psychic Recharge. And then very easy 40 damage onto this Jirachi. I don't use the other Psychic Recharge. I don't think there's any need. I don't want to bench this guy in Psychic Recharge because then that immediately shows basically my hand to my opponent. And since he only has two energies here, he might just end up double placing. Well, no, he'll probably outrage, right? He'll just outrage. Yeah, never mind. He would just end up using Outrage. Baby Table of Mon. <laughs> that was an insane draw for sure though. Yeah, there's no way he's gonna Flare Strike next turn. No way he's gonna Flare Strike next turn. I'm happy I streamed though. I was very close to not streaming because I locked myself out in the morning, but I'm glad I did end up streaming. I'm glad I did end up streaming. It's always really fun to hang out with you guys. I feel like I'm just gonna put all the damage here because if I can use Mimikyu for the next person, that would be awesome. And see, like if my stadium had gotten countered, the recycle energy means I don't have to like, like try and find that energy. Yeah, which as the game progresses, it's not always super easy to do. So I'll treasure away for Inke. 
and then we're gonna go distortion door attach attach Cynthia I don't mind shuffling back the Mimikyu really I don't mind shuffling back the Mimikyu I bet Gano can now just outrage so that's why putting damage here is important it's basically irrelevant on bulk because that always gets KO'd <clears throat> but it matters here because of the healing options <laughs> I misplayed by hitting the baby volcano. Not only did I hit him, I KO'd him. So I was extra mean to it. I'm gonna keep the acrobite for now then. I'm gonna keep the acrobite for now. And I feel like we should be getting another win in this matchup. Uh, okay, so if he heals with one great potion, he's still in range. If he hits with if he heals with two. He goes down to 70, 100. So if I put the 40 damage on myself, if I put the 40 damage on myself, that means he can use two great potions to heal and he still KOs me. Without rage. This way, I also limit his healing. So that's why I'm not putting the damage on the Giratina, even though he can just outrage. If he just outrages, that's fine. I'm getting a huge prize advantage. I go down to two, he goes down to four. And if he decides to power up a benched Reshizard, then that's where the 4 damage counters go. So it's a win-win here. It's a win-win to not place the damage on the Giratina. It discourages healing, or if he fully heals and he goes Flare Strike, then that's where Mimikyu comes in. So there's a lot of things in play coming into play right now. Uh, Iruk, yeah, that's very true. Espion, Deoxys, GX's um, attack and GX attack are very, very good. Now they're both very good, especially the GX attack is insanely good. The GX attack is especially good. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna close this out with a win. There's the Mixers and there's the Custom Catcher. Ooh, so that's bad news. He's gonna bypass or it seems like he's gonna bypass the spell tag whilst healing as well. Yeah, it is especially nice if you get the six energy, that's just brutal. Okay, so 80 damage on the person, but see, we're out of range of outrage. So if he has to go flare strike, then Mimikyu just sweeps him. Yeah, so combining like benching Espion Deoxys with a reset stand for the late game, that's the best um, the best combination, right? Usually. <laughs> that's also my rook. So yeah, by healing here, he puts himself out of range of um, out of range of the of the spell tag. Right, so I'm just gonna put the spell attack damage here. Not too relevant. And we know of one card that he has in his hand, which is a custom catcher. So I'm kind of tempted to play the reset stamp. Bring him down from 6 to 4 and no custom catchers. Because I believe he's also holding a welder. I'm pretty sure. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and attach this. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the Acrobike. I don't think I'm gonna need to thin with Acrobike anymore. Let's just do that. And then I'm definitely gonna reset stamp him. I have the knockout here, he did flare strike. And then I'm gonna go Cynthia. That seems okay. We get the switch, we get spell tags. We got Stellar Wish as well. <laughs> Four Psychics, that's insane. I guess I should have Viridian Forced it first. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. And then we'll go ahead and Psychic Recharge to get the KO on the active. He did Flare Strike, right? That, that was the only way to KO the, the thing. And then we'll go with this guy. And we'll get it powered up as well. We shall get it powered up. Shuffle the deck better, right? I need to shuffle the deck better. There's no way, well, there is a way this guy goes down. 
So do I just spell tag it? I guess I'll spell tag both, why not? It's also defense against reset stamp. Copycat, Flare Strike for 230. And we cannot use Flare Strike next turn, except we used Copycat, therefore we could if we really wanted to. That Baby Volcanion has got to be my opponent's best Baby Volcanion ever to come back into this match. It's gonna be the best Baby Volcanion ever in the store in the history of Baby Volcanions. <laughs> Okay. Not a bad way to close out the stream. I'm gonna see a Poke Gear, so my opponent thinning as much as he can. He's gonna get the greens, he's gonna get the cherish, so the game is not over just yet. <laughs> the game is not over just yet. Watch him double blaze. Well he already played the greens. He would for double blaze he would have needed so much. So so much. In the history of baby Volcanians and in the history of Pokemon, yep. So I get reset stamp, not not a big deal, unless... Okay, so since I don't have energy in my discard pile, that could be a problem. But I want to choose to retreat with the recycle energy, and therefore I will be able to get a kill. And the Mimikyu remains a threat to this poor person. And he also flare started for zero anything so that's really good that is really good for us i'll pay with the recycle energy i'll get it back i'll use the recycle energy and we shall shadow impact putting the damage i'll just spread it to the malamars keep this guy healthy just in case does this list play to tina yes it does yes it does like we're not gonna immediately win but we should be able to win now we're gonna see the the thing. He's gonna GX KO this turn. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. We just come up with another Giratina. Power plant doesn't really matter against us at this stage in the game. Double blaze GX. That's fine. Uh, we can't place the four damage counters anywhere, so they get automatically placed for us. And then we shall do this. We know he's out of energies, so that's good. I'll just distortion door here, and then I will go ahead and psychic recharge. And this basically creates checkmate, right? Because my opponent has to. Um, has to decide on whether he heals and doesn't outrage for the KO or if he flare strikes and then opens himself up for the copycat. I guess not having a spell tag on the Giratina means if he fully heals and flare strikes that's another turn, right? That is another turn which he can use which he can use to his advantage. Not the biggest of deals, I don't think. And then by keeping these two cards, he can't stall me out either. And off of five cards, I really doubt he can fully heal. But I'm still, like, I'm not going to put the damage here, because if he outrages... I guess one Great Potion does it for him. We're not out of it yet. We're not completely out of it yet, for sure. Watch him heal everything. That would be sad. He can't flare strike though, unless he healed everything. If he flare strikes, and we like, if for whatever reason he heals enough and he outrages, then we go in with Giratina again. And then, unless he fully heals and out and flare strikes, then we're still okay. Yeah, because he's at three prizes. If he were at two prizes, then we might be in trouble. But since he's at three, use Esper. You can't use Esper, Iruk, because Esper only targets bench. Yeah, to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Reshizard is not on the bench, it's on the active. So my opponent seems like he's gonna go out in style. If he outrages, we kill with this guy. If he flare strikes, we kill with this guy. Max Potion. <laughs> 
<laughs> my explosion would be very sad. Ooh, my opponent chooses not to KO. So I even top deck the switch, but good thing I was holding those two cards. And here we go. Shadow Impact for the game. Well played, says my opponent. Well played to him as well. He did. I mean, that was maybe his win condition. If I was out of switching cards, that might have worked. But unfortunately for him, I wasn't. Hello, Daniel Davis. I'm doing well. Thank you. How about you? You guys, you arrived just as we are closing out for today because since I locked myself out of the house in the morning, I lost a whole hour. So that means a shorter stream today, an hour and a half instead of two hours and a half. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much to everyone for watching. Yeah, don't forget to check out our sponsors, Millibots Gaming, TCG Player, and Poe Town Store for code cards, cards in Europe or cards in the US. All those places are really good places to get cards from. And if you use the referral link for TCG Player or if you use code TABLEMON, um, on, in Potent Store or Millibots Gaming, you get a 5% discount. So that will be all for me today. We're gonna go host Azul. Irux Daddy, what's your question? Can you steer treasure, recycle energy and get it back? No, recycle energy only comes back when you when it, it's from play and it, it, it would get discarded and then it goes back to your hand. But if you discard it from your hand, you don't recover it, yeah? All right, thank you so much. Enjoy Azul, tell him I said hi, and I will catch you guys tomorrow to keep up our streaming streak. Thank you so much, and until next time, bye-bye.